I've been a priest. I've been a priest um, 50 years this year. I've struck you as an enemy strikes with harsh punishment. So great is your guilt and so many your sins. I think you really, it, 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 it's a question really of um, how you regard the Bible. The Bible isn't a handbook uh, for AIDS or any other disease. It's not uh, how we react, you know. It's, the, the Bible tells us about God. And the people who wrote this particular part of the Bible, Jeremiah, they wrote over 2,300 years ago. They lived in a completely different age than we live in. And I suppose the, the difficulty of interpreting the Bible is that you've got to actually put yourself in the skin of the people who wrote that particular passage. And in that age, you know, that it was a very, very harsh age. It certainly never referred to AIDS or HIV because it was unknown at that particular time. But um, it was a harsh age and um, God was treated like a super tribal chief, really. And uh, tribal chiefs in those, they were pretty powerful people. But that's the only way they could think of God. And, of course, the great, for, for Christians, the big change to all that is that when Jesus came, uh, he was the personification of God, if you like, in the sense that uh, he was God to so many people. And more than anything else, he showed the love of God. And um, the whole of the New Testament is based on, on love and uh, concern for God, but also love and concern for one another. And um, you can't really say that it's, 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 it's wrong to use the Bible in that particular sense of being a condemnation. They tell me that it is, but uh, I think you're asking the wrong person for that, you know, that in fact, you know, the church isn't into the scientific business. It's